In this tutorial, I will talk about an AwareAIM concept called shortcuts, which is mostly used to display values of related business objects in queries. Please make sure that you are familiar with the concept of queries in AwareAIM and watch the corresponding tutorials before watching this one. The question frequently asked by new AwareAIM users is this. I can display values of a business object using a query, but how do I display values of other objects in the same query? This tutorial will tell you how to do this. Well, first of all, the quote-unquote other object that the query needs to show is not just some random object. If it is shown by the query, it must be somehow related to the main object that the query shows. So there must be a reference attribute to the other object declared in the main object of the query. For more details about reference attributes, please watch the relationships tutorial. Once a reference attribute exists in the main object, it is possible to show it in a query using shortcuts. Note that the relationship between the objects must be a single one, because if there are multiple instances of the other object related to the main one, then it's not clear values of which instance the query needs to show. Let's look at an example. Here I have a small application that manages customers from previous tutorials. We have the custom object, which has first name, last name, date of birth, and other attributes. There is also an object called contact note, which represents a record of communication with the customer. Its attributes include the date of the communication, the subject, and details of the communication. Obviously, a communication record reflects communication with a particular customer, and therefore, this object has a single reference to the customer. Suppose now, that we want our system to show all communication records for all customers that we have. For each communication record, we want to show date, subject, details, and the name of the customer. Let's add this query to the system. So I create a new query called contact notes. This query will be looking for all contact notes objects. Then we go to the display attributes property of the query and select subject, date and details as attributes to be shown. But how do we show the name of the customer? Customer is a reference attribute and AwareAIM does not offer this attribute in the list of attributes to display. To show the name of the customer in our query, we must define a shortcut. I'll show you how to do this. Let me save the query first. Shortcuts are special attribute types that allow you to refer to a particular attribute in the related object. Shortcuts need to be defined in the main object of the query. So we go to the contact node object and add a new attribute called customer last name. The type of the attribute will be shortcut. Shortcut attributes require a path to some attribute of a related object to be defined. We do it here. We have only one reference attribute called customer So we now need to pick an attribute of the customer object that the, that the shortcut will refer to. We pick last name. Note that the shortcut path can have multiple levels. For example, the customer object has its own single reference to the company object. So the shortcut in the contact node object could refer to the name of the company, like this, for example. Let's 
Let's just add a shortcut to the first name instead. Let me now just change the labels of the shortcuts to be first name and last name rather than the default customer first name and customer last name. Let's now go back to our query. We select the displayed attributes property again, and here we go. We can now see the shortcut attributes among the list of the attributes that can be shown. So we select them. Let's also add an operation to show the form of the contact node record. Now I will just add this query to the system menu and we're done. So I put the version under test. And we'll log into the application using the browser. And here we can see our button to run the query. We run it and we can see the communication records with customer names here. We can actually sort by shortcuts here, or we can build the initial sorting criteria directly in the query. Shortcuts can also be placed on a form, and it is actually a great way to see attributes of some related object directly on the form of the parent object. Putting shortcuts on a form is just like putting any other attribute on a form. In fact, a where I am should have automatically added both shortcuts to the form of the contact node. So if we click on the edit button here, we should see them on the form. And here they are. Note, you can only display shortcuts as read only on a, on a form. You cannot change these values. However, we can make shortcuts editable in a query if we enable inline editing for the query and make the shortcut editable. In this case, a where I will automatically generate a drop-down and we can pick a value for the, from the drop-down. Let's do it. Let's go back to the query, enable inline editing and make customer last name editable. Let's see what happens. When we go back to the browser and run our query, and then we try to edit the last name, we can see that our aim generates a drop-down with the last names of all customers that we have, and we can pick the one that we want. It doesn't make sense to change the customer of the communication record, but consider this example. Let's say you have a purchase order that consists of line items and each line item refers to a product. You enter line items in line within a reference table inside an order. When you specify the details of a particular line item, you want to enter quantity and then pick a product from the list of available products. To achieve this, you would need to define a shortcut to the product name inside the line item object. Enable inline editing for the line items attribute inside the order and make the shortcut to the product editable, along with quantity, of course. Let me quickly show this to you. 
Let's create our business objects first, starting with a product object. It will have just one attribute name. Then we will define the line item object. It will have quantity. And a reference to the product. And finally, let's define the purchase order object. It will have order number and a multiple reference to the line item object called line items. Multiple allowed is ticked. Now we want to edit the table of line items in line on the form of the order. So we go to the widget settings property of the line items attribute, allow inline editing, display quantity and make it editable. And here we also want to, to be able to enter product but we cannot do this because a product is a reference attribute, so we need a shortcut. So we go to the line item object and define a shortcut to the product name attribute. Then we go back to the presentation options of the line item attribute. And now we can see product name in the list of available attributes. So we tick it and make it editable. Let's also add a panel operation to create a new line item in line. And the final thing we need to do is go to the product attribute of the line item object and, ma and make sure that it is displayed as a drop down or combo box. With fetch all records at once selected. We do this because the shortcut to the product will inherit these presentation options from the product attribute. Let me just add an operation to create a new order to the system menu. And that's it. Let's see how this works. So we go back to our application and I have already populated the system with three products. We can cl click new order now, enter the order number and then click new to add a new line item. And here we can pick the product inline using editable shortcut then create another one pick another product so as you can see editable shortcuts 
are a great way to add data during inline editing. 